Wow. I am really impressed with my new little mini spot welder. It's, it's, it's killer. It's, it's wireless. Wireless in a sense that, like my old, um, our old style, you know, if I did a video on this one where we have to hook it up to a big battery. If, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card right up here for you. But this thing's like $25, and a lot of people are having a problem with this thing blowing up the MOSFETs because they were using the wrong size battery. We have to use a big car battery, something that can really push out enough amperage to keep those uh, MOSFETs from blowing up. But we have to have these big leads on there to hook to the battery. And I love that. I've been using that for a long time. As a matter of fact, I bought several of them, and these are brand new. I've never even used them because I was afraid that I might blow this one up. <clears throat> but I'm still using that spot welder until I found this one. This one has no leads on it. It has an internal uh, lithium polymer battery, 5,000 milliamp. And it says this thing will do hundreds of welds on one charge. You charge that battery via USB type C, and this has also has an output on it. So we could charge our cell phone or whatever. We can just take this with us as like a little power bank. So it does have a uh, 2.4 amp output uh, USB A on that side, but that's it. <laughs> we got a little digital screen on there. It's so self-compact. It, it is really cool. Look at the weld it's putting on these batteries. That's just that is impressive. And they're really good welds too. I ripped that one off. Ugh. Yeah, it rips the steel off, so we can rip it off there. But that's that's any type spot welder, you know, that we can rip the bat, um, we can rip the tab. Now this is uh, point, yeah, point one mil, yeah, yeah, point one mil uh, tab. And these are just my little practice eighteen six fifty cells that I use. They're completely discharged. I just use them to uh, to practice on. And um, yeah, it's. It's really cool. Let's just go ahead and weld these two batteries together real quick. That's so cool. And there it is. Nice little welds on the 18650. So I think this is going to be my no my new go-to uh, little spot welder. The leads just unplugged like that, and like I said, we could carry this around like a little battery bank. Um, so far, I've got a quite a bit of welds on this, and no issues at all. Um, it seems to be a really good welder. So let's take a look at the uh, the menu and, and our settings and see what we can do with this. So we have little touch buttons here. We have our power level right here on top. And we just select the power from, it looks like it goes all the way to zero, up to 30. So zero to 30 on the power level. Um, the bottom right here, th these aren't really tactile type switches. They're just very light touch type switches, which is okay. On the bottom of the screen is the count. That's how many welds I've done since I've turned it on this time. Um, 32 is the trigger time. That's the amount of time once you touch both leads to the battery, that's the amount of time it takes before the weld uh, actually uh, pulses. Um, we got a power bar. It shows I've got 85% power remaining. And it's just showing that it's got uh, four volts. So little power button back here on the back is how we toggle through the menu. So press that button one time, it says history count. So 142 welds I've done on this since I've had it. Uh, trigger value is 32. Again, that's the length of time from the time you press, you know, touch the leads to the battery till the time it welds. And we can increase that from, I think it just goes from 30 to 40. I don't know why, it's kind of a weird type value. But, um, you know, 40 is quite a while. It takes a couple seconds before the weld actually happens. And I like the weld to happen a little faster, so I like it right around 32. Um, next menu is the off timer, just how long it, it uh, waits until it turns off without being used. I've just got it set on 10 minutes. And then that goes back to our main menu. So for the hobbyist that just likes to repair, you know, batteries or make small battery packs or just a guy that likes to tinker around like me, 
this is an incredible little welder for, for the price. I'm going to leave a link to this below in the description where you can get this on Amazon. And, you know, they've got a gray version and a black version. But um, th this is absolutely incredible. And I'm going to just keep welding away with it and see if I have any issues with it. But so far, there might be just a little inconsistencies in the weld, but um, but but nothing I can't, you know, work with. Um, you know, and if, if you've never used one of these, just like on our other one in the other video, we talked about how to, you know, use the leads. It's a feel thing. It's a practice. You press too hard, you're not going to get a good weld because you're lowering the resistance. There ain't enough resistance between the leads to really make a good weld. If you don't press hard enough, you're going to blow a hole through your strip. So it's just the right feeling, and it just takes a lot of practice. You know, whenever I'd use a new welder before I start, that's why I've got these old cells. They're completely discharged. I just use them to um, to practice on. So, yeah, no matter what welder you get, it's going to take a little practice. But this one is truly incredible. This is going to be my go-to uh, welder from now on. So, yeah, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.